Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the hospitality industry. These are the 12 subjects, which is organizing productivity, online folders, backing your stuff up, passwords, photos, how to set up your computer. And if you don't have a computer, just note these things because you're going to want one in the future. Um, We're going to talk about notes, reminders, contacts, email gel. Anybody in email gel? Yeah? I'm free now. (laughs) Woohoo! Uh, internet browsers, the best apps, system preferences, and social media. All right, and then there's main points that I want you guys to really pay attention to for each of these subjects. So the first one is all about organizing productivity. I feel like productivity um, organization is all about your calendar. Like, do y'all live by your calendar? Mm-hmm. Like, even those of us who are super, super orange, um, if you use a paper calendar, stop. (laughs) Like, if if you need to use it to feel good about your day, that's fine. But if if someone stole it and don't live, like, that's never going to happen to me because it happened to me. And do both if, if you need to make yourself feel better writing it down. But you've got to get on a calendar, especially if you're growing and you want to share calendars. I'm going to talk a little bit about that, too. Um, So do you all ever feel like this? This picture, it's like people are just screaming at you in, like, a lot of different ways. And so the... The foundation of communication is knowing the colors, knowing the personality, but also you've got to get control of you and your schedule. I don't care if you're married, if you have two kids, four kids, seven kids, 50 clients, you've got to get your schedule under control. And I can say a lot of these things because this is what I used to do. And I surrounded myself with a lot of good business people and a lot of good coaches and a lot of great organizations that taught me how to think differently. And so they, when I first got into some of these organizations, they're like, your business is running you. Like, you're not running your business. And so that, that was really important. Um, this is just a quick snapshot of our calendar. And yes, it's blurry. I know for a reason. It's The point of this is the colors. So we've got red calendar is, for us, is our meetings. And so I share that with my team members. Amanda drives that communication, making sure that the appointments are scheduled. Um, everybody's confirmed. They have a map to where we're going. There should be zero questions. And if there's questions, that's opportunity for you to learn how to think forward. It's like, let's meet on this date and this time. And then it's like, well, where? And then it's like, okay, well, what about parking? And then what about lunch? You know, so we we really learn to think ahead. Um, Green is the time that we work behind the scenes for a client, but it's green because it's still billable time. Um, And I'll, I'll get into that. Orange is personal schedule, me time, workout schedule, work on the business. And then blue is just stuff I need to do at home. I don't share my blue calendar with anybody because it's just shit I got to do. Nobody can help me do it. Like laundry. Uh, yeah. So I love the dry cleaners, but there's just some things that I just need to wash. Um, so with time, I tell people what really changed my life for me in getting control was scheduling everything. Like, not just meetings, but schedule everything. Phone calls. Like, my phone rings my, maybe 10 times a day. I don't know who it is. Half the time it's spam with, like, even though I'm on the do not call list, don't put, if you have a website, do not put your cell phone number on there. <laughs> 
After I took my cell phone number off and I got an 800 number, three years later, people are still still calling my cell phone with spam and we use grasshopper for our 800 number and I think we pay like 20 bucks a month it's, it's so worth it um again it's like we a lot of this stuff that I use like my accountant's like oh that's ten dollars a month ten dollars a month ten you know yeah and you add it up and it's like well shit I'm paying five hundred dollars a month for all these apps however look at how much time it's saving you and it's kind of saving you a person and a salary you know so when you add all that stuff up it's like oh well I could pay a person or automate some things and know that it's right and it's just easy that way so I literally schedule everything phone calls gym time me time you time now we all have to have flexibility shit happens okay uh, kids get sick I get it things happen but I really try to potty train my clients and my vendors that they're just not like oh let me call Angela. Oh, it's like, don't expect to pick up the phone and just call me and talk to me for an hour because I'm not going to answer my phone. I want to be prepared and I want to be in front of my phone or my computer and I don't want to be driving sometimes or if I am driving, I want Amanda on the phone so that she can help take notes and I'm not prepared if you just randomly call me. So I really, really, really set expectations up front and tell people what you want, guys. It's not hard and so I worked with the coach one time and he came and watched me do everything and he was like you literally tell people um, anything you need anytime 24-7 whatever you need and then people would text me literally at two and three in the morning and then I, my dumb ass would get up and like text them back and it's like they're just doing what I asked them to do right so it's like you have to realize what you're saying well I I really mean that like I want to take care of people but there has to be boundaries there ha- you have to and so like I want a marriage with our clients like not just a relationship so if I do your wedding I'm going to do your baby shower I want to do your parents anniversary party I want to do your company party for Christmas. I want to decorate your house for Christmas. I want to do, you know, so you really have to set your clients up. Like if you want that, like now it's, it's really cool to like follow. Cause last year was the first year that we actually had repeat business because I told people, I'm like, why, like, why don't people think of me? And they're like, Oh, I just thought you did weddings. Like they have no clue that like, yes, we will do this. And yes, we will any type of event. I want you to think of me now. Now, it may not be me there every single time. However, I've trained a great team, and I want them to understand, like, how our team works. And so it's amazing you get what you ask for. But if you don't tell anybody, how the hell are they going to know what you want, right? Um, So I tell people, and this is specifically with weddings, and think through, like, what your process is. And this is all about setting expectations. So I tell people, you need me for four things. And it's design, how you're going to spend your money, ceremony stuff, and final vendor meeting. And that takes about 40 hours. And how do I know that? Because I tracked my time for an entire year. And I wanted to, like, fall over and die when I figured out how much I was making per hour. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um... And I tell them about scheduling phone calls. I tell them that we pre-schedule all the meetings, usually at least a month out. Now, sometimes we have to move them around. That's fine, whatever. I review my contract and tell them, like, several points. I just don't send it. Um, I tell them how we charge. We keep up with our hours for planning and logistics, and then design is a percentage because you can't really put a price tag on hours for creativity, right? Like, I'll, I love to shop for people, not myself. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you like spend other people's money. I'm like, yeah, but that's what the clients are paying me for, and I really do have to limit that. Otherwise, I'll shop for 10 hours, and, like, that's not good sometimes for the pocketbook. And you've got to set boundaries. You've got to set boundaries and set expectations. Um, the other thing is the little calendar app is up there for a reason. Like, if it's not on your calendar, like, stop the distractions and text messages and all the different mm, social media things. Shut that shit off. (laughs) Like, it drives me crazy. Now, I have them in my notifications 
And we'll talk about that where I pulled down on my phone and I'm looking at everything, but my ass better be on the bike or it better be on the elliptical. Don't run and do it. Um, but I'm working out. I'm doing something for me while I'm looking at all that because it's just distracting. And you cannot get anything done. And that's why people are wrecking and they're divorcing. And it's just like everything's a wreck because of all these distractions. Um, a lot of times, like I'll ask clients about FaceTiming and Skyping instead of driving or I'll tell vendors, like, let's FaceTime you in. Like, if it takes you an hour to get to my office and two hours to get home because of traffic, depending on the time, like, I don't want you sitting in the car for three hours for a 30-minute meeting. Like, we just do it over the phone. Um, And then also, like, I love AirDrop, which we'll talk about that later. If you have Apple products on your phone, your iPad, your computer, everybody has AirDrop where... Here, I'll just show you guys real quick. Um, You simply, you can do command N for a new window. And you see right here, airdrop is right here. So basically it detects anything around you. And so right now it's, it shows Kyle and Rima and Amir. So at, all these people have allow me to be discovered by everyone. This whole thing is important. And so you can choose no one, your contacts. And so when we're sitting in the same office, like if I wanted to share anything with you all right now, I would just take three fingers like, here's a picture, three fingers. By the way, if you have this computer, this little indention right here, that's for your thumb. Glue your thumb there. And then I'm going to teach you guys a lot of shortcuts today. So three fingers, which we have to fix your trackpad. I could take three fingers and like drop a picture to Kyle. And then it's going to pop up on your phone, your iPad. You can accept it, save it. So it just saves time, like through email, you know, and all that stuff. So there's all these little shortcuts. (laughs) So. Like, my God. Right? I have not been living. Right? Okay. Are you getting excited? We are just in the beginning. Um, So Apple TV, how many of you have Apple TV? Mm -hmm. So like in the office, my computer will talk to my big TV and it all goes through Apple TV. Now, yes, you can stream Hulu and Netflix and all that stuff too, but like, I don't really care about that. Um, But people are like, oh, well, that's like an extra fee. I'm like, you effing pay for cable, probably $120 every month for internet cable and who uses a home phone these days? And you won't spend a $99 $99 for a little bitty black box that you have forever? Like, come on, people. <laughs> um, but when you're selling, like, Kyle's open in a salon, and you don't know this yet, but eventually, like, t- big TV's up where it's just scrolling pictures of, like, before and after and, you know, just scrolling, like, inspirational things. And that, that'll all be connected through all the Apple stuff. All the, I mean, right? It's like you want people to feel good. Story sell. I'm a great storyteller. I can tell stories. And then at the end of the day, it's like, that's why brides hire me. Because I can talk your ear off about stories. I can relate. I can tell you all kinds of crazy shit. Now, it wasn't like that when I first started because I was still learning. So in the beginning, it's okay to say yes. Not, not to everything, but I said yes to everything. And that really built my foundation. And then six years I looked up and I'm like, Oh, I don't want to do this again. And Oh, I shouldn't do this again. So you kind of have to learn as you go. I'm trying to expedite that process for you guys today. Cause I wish someone would have done it for me. Actually, I don't because then I wouldn't be teaching probably it uses the do not disturb feature. Okay. If you don't use the do not disturb feature, take your phone out and go to your settings and look for that do not disturb. And you can turn it on. Like, I'll turn mine on from, like, midnight to, like, 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. And I also have it set that if my favorites and my contacts, which there's only about eight people in there, like my family, if they call or text, like, I'll get that. It'll wake me up. But something that I learned the hard way and my business coach right now completely disagrees with this, but like he's really not human. Um, you got to sleep, guys. You've got to take care of yourself first, or you're not going to be able to take care of anybody. I used to work 21, 22 hour days. I never slept. My hair was falling out. Um, my skin was dry. I broke my foot. I gained 60 pounds. People are like, Are you pregnant? You're not married and you're a wedding planner? 
Like, I'm like, no, I'm not effing pregnant. I broke my damn foot. And I can't have surgery for like eight months because I don't have six weeks where I can just take off. Right? What what the hell does that mean? Like, and I'm not going to be on a scooter like an old woman out in public. Like, I just can't because I like to get up and do shit myself. But you got to take care of yourself so that do not disturb feature is really... If you found this podcast helpful, please share it with other wedding and event professionals. Be sure to subscribe today so you never, ever miss the juicy details of Weddings Unveiled. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business. And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on, connect with us on AngelaProfit.com. For more valuable resources, again, visit the website. And until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable.